Hello, we are from University Technical Malaysia Malacca. This video will introduce about our projects that is design of antenna with rectifying circuit for energy scavenging. Are you ready to watch it? Let's start. There are small amounts of wasted energy that could be useful if captured. This energy would have a significant economic and environmental impact. Energy scavenging comes in. Preview. Energy scavenging is the process of collecting, or harvesting, minute amounts of unharnessed energy from the surrounding environment, including heat, light, movement electromagnetic wave, and converting these to electricity. Energy scavenging has the potential to extend battery life in low power devices or to eliminate batteries altogether. Indirectly will contribute to new battery free technologies. Wireless sensor network is one of the applications for energy scavenging. Low power sensor is suitable for use in this application. There are two examples of applications for WSN. The first is monitoring forest wildfires where temperature and fire alert sensors used. The second is monitoring emergency radiation where radiation sensor used to check the radiation levels in the area. The sensors use the finite battery life where the occurrence of limitation in terms of lifetime of the WSN system. Nevertheless, when the scavenging energy is applied then the use of the battery is not needed or battery free. It makes an advantage on cost and lifetime WSN system and indirectly able to operate with optimum. Our projects focus on radio frequency energy scavenging. To get a clearer picture of our project, it can be found on the project approach. There are several RF sources available in the environment which is a mobile base station, satellite base stations, wireless LAN modem and others. Our goals is to harvest the wasted energy from the RF source where elements such as antenna, matching circuit, and a rectifier is needed to convert the electromagnetic wave to a DC voltage, that can be used to the load such as a battery and light emitter diode. Features of the first antenna design known as array antenna with patch antenna elements. It operates at a frequency of 2.45 GHz and has a bandwidth of less than 100 MHz. Return loss produced more than 10 dB with gain more than 10 dB. This antenna is a directional antenna. The second antenna design known as array antenna with defected ground structures. It operates at a frequency of 2.45 GHz and has a bandwidth of less than 50 MHz. Return loss produced more than 10 dB with gain more than 5 dB. This antenna is an omnidirectional antenna. Next is a matching and rectifying circuit design. It's known as single stage rectifier with two diode. It operates at a frequency of 2.45 GHz and using a HSMS 286B diode. Single stub matching used as matching circuit. Cascaded stage rectifier with two diode as a second design for our project. Preview. It operates at a frequency of 2.45 GHz and using a HSMS 286B diode. Single stub matching used as matching circuit. Advantage of this design is able to operate using two sources simultaneously. Next is project demonstration. Preview. Impact of this project is a reduced installation and maintenance cost which eliminates service visits to replace batteries. Second is a long-term solutions where the device will remain functional virtually as long as the ambient energy is available. It also support a green technology when it can avoid from deposition on batteries cause environmental pollution. 